This week in the Missouri Senate, we review the latest measures to be signed into law. The governor signed seven bills on Wednesday. Senate Bill 13, thank you for the opportunity. For- Senate Bill 13 modifies provisions relating to financial institutions. Senator Sandy Crawford of Buffalo is the sponsor. It does three things. It gives the division the authority to issue useful official guidance to the industry. It also increases consumer licensing fees by $100, and it repeals some obsolete portions of the banking code, also clarifies the statutes concerning the division and state banking and savings and loan board. Senate Bill 13 will become law on August 28th. Senate Bill 25 for you this morning. This is Senate Bill 25 means no state tax on federal grants for expanding broadband in our state. When this proposal was discussed on the floor of the Missouri Senate on February 1st, Senator Greg Razor of Kansas City wanted to add an amendment to change when the Kansas City earnings tax could go on the ballot. We renew that every five years. We have done it three times. I think 77 percent, 79 percent in favor and 81 percent in favor. This just moves it from five to every 10 years. So we would still have to approve it, but it would save the community a lot of money. While the amendment was unsuccessful, Senate Bill 25 will take effect on August 28th. House Bill 131 be brought before the body. Senator Mike Bernsketter of Jefferson City handled House Bill 131 in the upper chamber this year. House Bill 131 is the biweekly pay bill for state employees. This new law will allow state employees to be paid biweekly. Currently, they can be paid once a month or on the 15th and last day of the month. This language is also contained in Senate Bill 111, which Senate Bill 111, which also eliminates the Personnel Advisory Board, gives all duties and responsibilities previously held by the board to the Director of Personnel Division and the Commissioner of Administration. We got a personnel division. So this is in the personnel division and the commissioner of administration. So you're just getting rid of the commissioners, right? And you said they haven't been functioning, basically, or they've had vacancies since 2006. That's Senator Carla May of St. Louis. Senate Bill 111 will also become law on August 28th. Senate Bill 167. Senator Ben Brown of Washington sponsors Senate Bill 167, which also includes Senate Bill 171. So all this would do is it would reinstate a COVID era waiver that allowed truckers to submit these fiscals electronically. Senate bills 167 and 171 will also take effect on August 28th. We will talk more about the other two pieces of legislation signed into law this week next week. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of truly agreed to and finally passed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.